Oh, man. Back when I was growing up, and even up until recent times, video games were the greatest escape for me. Like, I remember coming home from school and just running home, throwing my bag on the ground to turn on my TV to play GTA or play BO2. All you boys that play video games, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But, yo... First of all, I just want to say those were some of the best childhood memories I've had in so long and I would not take those for granted at all. It started to become a problem when I noticed it was taking over my life completely. It started to become a problem when I noticed it started taking over my life completely. I remember in high school, specifically in ninth grade, this is when you're like, you know, you're growing up, you're starting to become yourself, especially in high school. And I remember me and my friends, we, we, this is when I started to notice that we had, we all had social anxiety. We all didn't understand social cues. We didn't understand how social lives work. And we didn't under, understand how to even hold a conversation because the whole world was just me and my friends running home to play video games. Not only did video games affect my social life, it also started to affect everything else. It started to affect my work ethic. It started to affect my physical health, my mental health, everything. Because like I said, I would take these eight to 10 hour gaming sessions where you're upgrading your life on the computer and you're, you're doing all of these things. Your 2K overall is going up and you're prestiging in Call of Duty, but you're gaining weight in real life. You're failing class. All those bad things are happening. The reason why I stopped playing video games was because I noticed that all of these things started to take a toll in my life. I don't know about you guys, but I was able to just go cold turkey. I just stopped. Literally one day, I just kind of stopped. I remember getting into baseball specifically and just kind of losing the time for it or the care. I remember I would, I found baseball and that was the thing that kind of like, replace my dopamine for basket for uh video games because then i started to focus on baseball way more than i did on video games because it felt like i was leveling up my coach was super cool thank god and he kind of like taught me the philosophy of working super hard to you know achieve your goals and everything like that he kind of taught me like what worth it work ethic was um and i started to focus a lot on baseball and video games kind of just became a second thing for me. On the weekends, maybe I'll turn it on for 30 minutes, but by 12th grade, I would turn on my PlayStation and literally it would be like 20 minutes in the home screen while I'm on my phone and then I'll try to press 2K. Wouldn't be into it at all. I would literally just get bored and then I just turn it off. The effects of stopping video games, just cold turkey, just not playing no more. I do have a PS5. You guys can see it right there. I do have a PS5, but I literally just bought it to play Spider-Man 2 and then I stopped again. <laughs> like it's cra it's been months. It's been ye a year, it's since the game came out, I stopped. I like beat it in two days and then I stopped. Uh, just cause I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. But once the benefits of that I saw from stopping playing video games were insane when i stopped playing my social life i've gained so much confidence when it comes to talking to people i learned how to block schedule i got into entrepreneurship like crazy i run three businesses i work in sales i do so much cool things and i don't have any urge to turn on the game it's midnight right now i literally i have a celsius right here and all i'm doing is just drinking my celsius recording my videos and just kind of going in man like that's literally all i'm doing i'm just grinding getting these videos done because these are one of my businesses that i'm running and just kind of going from there so anybody that's struggling with video game addiction just know that there's so much more out there to life there's so much more to accomplish in life go hard go hard stop stop putting excuses for the things that you want to do in life just attack 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 you will see results you will see the things that you want to see and yeah just work with intention work with intention go for it and you're gonna see so much you're gonna see so much 
video games, you're only going to level up on a TV screen. And real life, the feeling of leveling up in real life, way better, way more satisfying. So this is my message to everybody to stop playing video games, man. Like, put it down. If you want to pop, you know, hop on it here and there on the weekend for an hour or two, tops. Because even on the weekend, you need to do stuff. You need to get stuff done. That's usually where everybody has the most free time. So you want to get the most you can on the weekends. Um, yeah, pick it up for an hour or two, but don't, you know, don't do it for more than that. Cause you're not yielding any positive result. This is besides if you want it to be your business. And I'm talking about, you're actually actively working towards your business. And even then you're max playing two to three hours because you're creating content the whole time. So besides that, even if it is your business, you need to, you only need to play for two to three hours. If that. But yeah, guys, that's my yap sesh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.